you lock yourself in your room and you just spend an hour a week learning any of these skills, you will have an unusual edge in life, an edge that is exponentially ahead of everyone else in your field if you're an entrepreneur or everyone else in your job title if you're working in a specific role. You guys ready to hear this? So the first skill is this, coding or prompt engineering. Now, Val Ravikant said coding, but not all of us can learn to be a coder. Now listen, one of the best programmers I ever hired was a philosophy major who taught himself to code using websites that teach coding like Pluralsight, but still coding to get to a useful degree was before taking a long time. But today that world has changed. Today, you can learn to create incredible work on computer, to build products all the way down to UX. And you can learn these skills in one hour because of augmented intelligence or AI. But there's also a new emergence in coding, which doesn't get talked about as much, and it's called no-code software. So we're gonna come to AI in a moment, but first, let's talk about this, no-code software. So I stumbled upon no-code software by accident. It was the middle of the pandemic. So Mind Valley, in the early part of 2019, unveiled this beautiful new office. And this office made Inc. Magazine top 10 most beautiful places to work in the world. And we were so proud about it. Then a bat and a Pygmalion had sex, unleashing this virus into the world. And all of a sudden, the world went into this pandemic lockdown. Unfortunately, the Mind Valley office was in Malaysia, the country that, according to The Economist magazine, had the lowest, lowest normalcy return rate in, among all G50 countries in COVID. So Malaysia was completely locked down. Schools shut down for two years. Offices, you couldn't even get through. Military on the streets. 14 of my neighbors were arrested for jogging. How dare they breathe fresh air? <laughs> and so what happened was that all of a sudden, I was working in this, this room, this, this studio apartment and I had to run this company. We could no longer use the office. And we had this massive employee workforce, 200, 300 people, and all of them, all of us had to learn how to communicate seamlessly without seeing each other. Now, we were a really face-to-face -face company. Mind Valley employees loved greeting each other, hugging each other. Basically, if we got together, we would all infect each other with COVID. So we had to keep apart. And that's when I discovered a tool called Airtable. So Airtable is one of many different no-code no -code software tools. And I want to show you what it's like. This is what I built in Airtable as my COVID project. So I learned coding 20 years ago, but the world has changed so much today. If I tried to code, I would be the worst programmer. But the principles I learned of how to think about data, how to think about connecting ideas, how to think in terms of linear algorithms, this in essence, is called computational thinking, still stuck with me. But I didn't know any of the modern coding languages, but Airtable made that easy. It gives you an interface where you can build really cool things to support your life and your business. I manage my speaking company on Airtable, and it allows me to run this speaking company with zero employees. The role of the assistant is gone. I manage my talks on Airtable. I have an Airtable, which is essentially this really intricate database where I have the right stories, the right images to pull into my talks. I manage my friends on Airtable. If a friend is good to me, I actually have a device where I give them a higher score. <laughs> if, they, uh, if they suck, their score goes down. I'm exaggerating, but you can do all of that. Airtable is an extension of your brain. So this is what I built. I called it the Mind Valley Brain. And in it, I put all the data from Mind Valley. All the these are all areas of growth where we focus on, and you can see how the data connects. Mind focus, outcomes that fall under this, programs that fall here. This is really a simple view. It's beautiful, but this is what it looks like at a back-end data model. You see, what Airtable is getting you to do is to think in terms of data structures. How many of you here know Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel? That's kindergarten stuff. Airtable looks like that, but you connect data in intricate ways, the way programmers connect data, but you don't have to learn to code. 
Any tool you want to build, you can then build on top of Airtable. Were any of you at Mind Valley University last year? So at Mind Valley University, we wanted a really cool app where people could see the agenda, where people could see the speakers, where you could easily find out what were the best restaurants to, to, to experience, the best shops to go to. Now, if we were to hire a company to build that app for us, there's no guarantee that that app would have the features we needed, and it would cost $18,000. One of my employees with no coding background built the Mind Valley University app that everyone used on Airtable in two weeks flat. Two weeks flat. Now, you gotta know how to connect data. So think of this as an Excel sheet. But where Airtable is different is you learn to connect a particular field in a sheet with another field. So when you learn this, you can actually build tons of automations around it. You are telling machine how to think but Airtable actually makes it super easy. This is a quick video, 90 seconds, that shows you. You don't even need to start in a complex way. You go to Airtable.com, get an account for maybe like 20 bucks a month, and then you choose what you wanna build. Maybe a software to manage your nonprofit gala or event marketing. Let's look at event planning. So, what, so you can buy complex software for event planning, or you can buy an Airtable template which gives you a baseline software for event planning where you can manage your speakers, you can manage your conference, you can manage your budget, and then you can customize this software. You don't have to wait for the software that you're paying good money for to add a new feature. You add the feature yourself. It takes a while to learn, one week. But one week, learning Airtable will change your life. So in my company, every single team uses Airtable. Every single team is using a software that helps them manage how they run, how they operate. McKinsey said 20% of a knowledge worker's life is wasted digging up information. If you know Airtable, all your information is so seamlessly put together that you can at the snap of a finger pull up whatever you need. So I'll give you an example, right? Our Airtable at Mind Valley is so advanced. If we are deciding to put a speaker on stage like Emily Fletcher, with a few clicks, my team can see every single speech Emily Fletcher has delivered on Mind Valley, what the audience rating was, every single piece of video content we have filmed with Emily Fletcher, what the audience rating was, what was the summary of that video content, what was the topic of that video content, and then we can go to Emily Fletcher and say, hey, we want to, you want to modify this part of your speech, you want to add this, this is what people are really um, looking for, going back 10 years. Everything goes on Airtable. So Mind Valley has this massive brain where we can pull up anything we need. And all of you can create a brain for anything. Study abroad programs, course scheduling, instructional design, order tracking and, and invoicing, student tracking. And it will cut off hours of your work. So after Airtable was incorporated in Mind Valley, this is what happened. The first thing that happened is within months, I freed up one day a week. But then as I got everyone in the company using it, we no longer needed 20% of our workforce. So in the last three years, our team size has practically stayed the same. Even though company revenues have more than doubled, our team size has stayed the same and people are more effective than ever because any data we need can be pulled up. Now that's just Airtable, right? That's no code software. You don't even have to go to Airtable. You can now free up another day a week if you learn how to talk to this guy, ChatGPT. So let me show you ChatGPT and what it's doing. This is news from yesterday. IBM announced that they're no longer gonna be hiring anymore because for a lot of their jobs, ChatGPT is gonna do the jobs of human employees. And I can tell you every single one of you here is underestimating ChatGPT. Every single one. Because what ChatGPT can do is borderline mind-blowing that many jobs that you would need to hire people for if you're an entrepreneur, you no longer need to hire people for. So I wanted a cover for this presentation, okay? A cover of a bold, confident person on a mountaintop looking at the world because she's learning the skills to dominate the world. This cover was created in under 60 seconds using ChatGPT. Let me show you how it works. So I go to ChatGPT and I've trained an instance of ChatGPT to, to understand Mindvalley brand to understand how to create, how to talk 
to a different AI that produces covers. That's called Midjourney. So I tell ChatGPT, create an image for four skills to rule the world using Mind Valley brand elements and an image hook list. An image hook list means the image is designed to be optimized for Instagram or YouTube clicks. Use the output model I trained you on, which is the output model, to talk to a different AI, Midjourney, that produces the image. Now, this is what ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, so it comes up with the idea for the image. Now look, all I said is four skills to rule the world. Look, look how it's thinking. A powerful and captivating image of a confident woman standing on top of a mountain peak overlooking a breathtaking landscape. The woman exudes an aura of strength, determination, and purpose. Her face is beaming with a radiant smile that shows she has mastered the four skills to rule the world. In the background, the purple and pink hues of the sky blend. Why? Because purple and pink are the colors of Mind Valley. All of this. I just have to give it the title, it does the rest. It knows exactly what type of image I'm looking for. Now I take this and I, and I paste it in mid-journey and I get four different types of image. Now I choose the image I want and I get four variations of that image. Then I ask it to blow up the image and voila, I have the image I showed you, 60 seconds. That's the first skill. We're gonna go deep into AI on Sunday. It's gonna blow your mind. AI, or because of AI, we recently eliminated 30 of 35 open marketing positions in Mind Valley. So think about the cost saving this is going to have on your business. And if you're a business of one, your ability to create just got magnified a thousand times. Every single one of you here is now officially an artist. And there are AIs where you can create UX, you can create websites, you can create articles, you can create poetry, you can create social media um, clips. All of this is now possible in the world right now.